one of the best things to do is avoid the news first thing in the day, okay? Um, I know that, you know, you need to be current and so forth, but hearing it first thing in the morning is a way of setting you up for a very negative day because the news is negative. There is no good news. Um, I mean, there's plenty of good news, but we just don't hear it. And I do work in the media, and I can still say that. Um, but the moment we, there was, a, I'll give you an example. There was a lady I used to work with who had high anxiety, and I was really trying to get to the bottom of it and kept doing things and she'd get so far and then she'd kind of bring herself down again. I said, right, just talk me through your day. And she'd start the day listening to the, the radio alarm would go off and she would listen to the news. And I said, okay, because you're in a, a semi-state of awakening, aren't you? You're kind of like half there and you're taking all that information in without filtering it. You haven't got the, the full mind to filter it. So you're going through the day thinking, why do I feel like this? Oh, right, there was an earthquake and there was a murder and there was a drowning and there was this and, and it's just negative, negative, negative. There's wonderful things happening in the world, but we're not hearing about it. We have to find it ourselves, okay? Acts of human kindness, attitude of gratitude, that's all there for us if we change our perception. And it is all around us, absolutely. So this lady, I said, if you could set your alarm for 10 minutes before the news or 10 minutes after, can you do that? In a week, her anxiety had lifted. Now, there is something to be said about that. So if you are around people who are very negative, and there are many people that you can probably think of, you need to protect yourself from that energy, just like the energy work we were doing just now, the love and the hate. If you are around somebody who is very, very negative, you can feel really drained, can't you? You're just sort of like, oh, God. You're taking all your energy from you. Learn to protect yourself by the way you think about yourself, first and foremost. Nobody can beat you up as bad as you can, okay? So begin. The things you say to yourself, you probably would never say to anyone else because it's too hurtful. You just wouldn't say it, would you? But what you say to yourself, why? Would you beat yourself up? If it made you better, then that would be fine. But it doesn't. All it does is bring your self-esteem down and you kind of crawl through the day, <laughs> hope someone's going to make you feel good. Can't accept a compliment because your brain's telling you, no, I don't believe in that. Does that resonate with anybody in the room? Mm -hmm.